in a design architectural design class, we um, got into groups and designed some uh, parklets for the spaces and uh, picked one to sort of further and go sort of past the design stage and build it. These parklets have been talked about for a couple of years. We are, have been working with some businesses, but uh, this is this one will be um, public parklet, so it won't be affiliated with any business. I mean, they sort of made this parklet happen where it wasn't happening otherwise. You know, I mean, somebody had to sort of take the bull by the horns, and they were able to do that. This is the first one in, as part of the pop-up park parklet program that we've had uh, been able to go successfully through the process and get permits and actually build it. So we're all really excited today because this is the first one and we also think it's one of the first or the first in Vermont. I believe we first started talking about this as a concept three years ago. So it's been a, a, a lot of thoughts gone into it, um, a lot of research about what's happened in other places including large cities where they've been very, very well received. We're trying to enhance uh, the use of and the access to our waterways and and uh, make the downtown as positive as possible. It's meant to be a temporary space to sort of like reclaim some public space for, um, I mean, we've designed this one to be a public space for public use. Hopefully this is the sort of thing that'll be a positive experience and open people up to more of these. Never underestimate the ability of young people to look at spaces that seem every day and see them differently than those of us who may have a few more uh, years under our belt. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of our students and faculty for the work that went into this project and grateful to the city of Mar Montpelier for the opportunity to partner.